Do you recognise any of these prisons? Now, here's number one. Do you know where that is? Anyone can tell me. It's Alcatraz. It's Alcatraz. You're right. Do you know where he went to Alcatraz? No. Al Capone. Clues in the name. Alcatraz. Yeah, you're right. And apparently, uh, the only way to escape was to go into the water, which was freezing cold. If you didn't die of hypothermia, you'd get eaten by a shark. So, uh, and no one wants to go to Alcatraz anyway. So, they, well done, yeah. Number two, a bit closer to home. Do you recognise that one? The poppies are outside of it. We go down south. If we take a, a virgin train, we'll get there soon. Tower of London, that is there, okay? That is actually a prison, the Tower of London, uh, once upon a time. Number three, this is even closer to home now. Do you recognise this one here now? Do you remember on the news when all the prisoners, they escaped and they went on the roof? Strange You're right, it's Strange Ways. You're my best friend today, thank you. I'm pleased someone's with me today, yeah. Number three, Strange Ways. Number four, how do you recognise this, okay? Now, you, this is probably the hardest one. Can anyone recognise this one here? For those of you going by in Lancaster, I'm saying, do you recognise any of these prisons? We've got Alcatraz, we've had Strange Ways. This one here, from Nor Northern Ireland. No, 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 no. And all the terrorists went there at one time. It's the H box in Northern Ireland. Do you remember that years ago when there was lots of uh, terrorist attacks? That's number that's number four. Now this one actually, I said that one was the hardest, but this is actually the one no one ever gets. If anyone gets this today, I'll give you a fiver, okay? Anyone tell me which prison this is here? Number five. It, it, is it Robin Island? You know my friend, yeah, it's, it's Robin Island. Five okay. a ching I'll get you, I'll, get, I'll buy you lunch today, Paul. So I'm asking you today, do you recognise any of these famous prisons? But here's the really big question right now. Do you recognise that we all have a prison, if you like? We all uh, are in prison in one sense or other. Okay, maybe none of us will ever end up there. Maybe none of us will ever end up, you know, going to Alcatraz or will co commit crimes like that. But every single one of us carries chains, don't we, okay? I wonder if there's anyone going by today who carries the chains of addiction. Maybe there's something you're addicted to and it's got a hold of you and you can't give it up. Maybe there's someone who carries the chains of bitterness. Perhaps there's someone and they've been cheated on or, or someone in your family has really hurt you and you carry that chain everywhere you go where it, where it hurts. Some of us, uh, maybe we carry the, the chains of alcohol or, or maybe a broken heart. We all carry chains, don't we? But do you know there's one chain that every single one of us has in common? Do you know what it is? You're not going to like me for saying this word, but we all carry the chains of death. Right or wrong, here's a shocking statistic for you that I bet you've never thought about before. 10 out of 10 people die. Is that right or is it wrong? It's right, isn't it? 150,000 people die every 24 hours. And I bet they all had plans for next week. Every single one of us is going to die. But here's the good news. Here's something that'll put a smile on your face. Did you know there's one who beat the grave and there's one who wants to beat your grave today? His name is Jesus Christ. He bled and died on a cross if you like, he was in prison on that cross, he was nailed to that tree. For your sins, for mine, for our lies, for our, our blasphemy, for all the wrong things we've done. And on the cross, Jesus suffered and died there. He was put in the tomb, and on the third day, he rose from the dead. And that's the good news, because Jesus beat his grave. He says, any will come to me, I will beat your grave as well. There's a verse in the Bible, Jesus said this. Have you heard this verse before? Who the sun sets free, shall be free indeed. And I'm asking you today, people of Lancaster, are you free? Have you come to the Lord Jesus Christ? He'll wash away all of your sins as if you've never done it before and he'll beat your grave and give you eternal life.